सर द मॉडिफाइड नेशनल एग्रीकल्चरल इंश्योरेंस स्कीम वॉज इम्प्लीमेंटेड ऑन पायलट बेसिस इन 50 डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन 2010-11. इट शुड बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड ऑल ओवर द कंट्री टू एवॉइड सुसाइड्स बाय फार्मर्स फर्टिलाइजर सब्सिडी शुड बी गिवन टू फार्मर्स बेस्ड on the land holding and cropping by remitting to his account labor availability has become extremely critical and also highly expensive agricultural activity is seasonal and therefore 50% subsidies should be given on all machinery with no import duty floods and droughts have forced the farmers to commit suicides in karnataka there has been a tremendous delay in disbursing monetary assistance promised to drought affected farmers but this has become an endless wait for the farmers in fact the disaster management authority of the government of karnataka allegedly has not held a single meeting to tackle the problems of farmers in the drought hit areas of the state the farmers in north karnataka have been the worst hit more than 1 lakh farmers have migrated to goa andhra pradesh and maharashtra to find jobs the migrant laborers from north karnataka are becoming the main labor source to construction sector in the cities failure of crops is due to the failure of rainfall and drought the prices of inputs such as seeds fertilizers and pesticides have gone up and prices of crops have been pushed down to below the cost of production the farming community experiences financial stress due to price crash of agricultural products and as a result there is increase in the debt burden due to failure of rainfall and also failure of bore wells there has been a sharp decrease in ground water table improper supply of electricity in the state has resulted in the inability of the farmers to supply water to the field as per the clarifications given by the honorable finance minister i understand that the farmers suicides rates are going down in our country according to the national crime records bureau data around 11000 farmers committed suicide in 2013 it is a matter of relief that due to positive steps taken by the modi ji's government the number have come down now though the opposition party is struggling hard to prove that bjp led nda government is against farmers our government is quietly working to make farming a profitable venture for our farmers through numerous initiatives one among them is the important decision of the criterion of 50% crop damage for providing compensation to affected farmers has been reduced to 33% which will help more farmers to get compensation for the crop loss they have also raised the parameters for helping farmers to help the industry clear its gain dues areas a proposal has been cleared to provide soft loans to the extent of rupees 6000 crore to the sugar industry the cabinet committee on economic affairs has provided one year halt on this loan 
and will bear the interest subvention cost to the extent of rupees 600 crore for the said period to ensure that farmers are paid their dues timely the center has mandated that banks will obtain from the sugar mills the list of farmers with bank account details the new scheme pradhan mantri krishi sichai yojana shows the government commitment to provide assured irrigation to much of our rain dependent farmland the flagship soil health card scheme has also been implemented our government is committed to speed up the setting up of agricultural corridor between punjab and west bengal the aim of the corridor is to build the entire ecosystem centered on agriculture this would be the biggest in the world covering about 4 million hectares of the most fertile land in the globe rice mills oil extraction units vegetables and fruits processing industries together with back end cold storage facilities would be set up in the proposed corridor about rupees 5000 crore has been set aside for setting up scientific warehousing infrastructure to increase the shelf life of the agricultural produces i would request the agriculture ministry to come to the rescue of the farmers of the country in this issue and give directions to all the nationalized banks to give loans at 3% for farmers on all types of loans and for agricultural machineries because small marginal and tenant farmers are dependent on private money lenders who charge more interest because of which the farmers are suffering in the country the farmers families should be provided free treatment in the government and private hospital the state governments and the central government should bear these expenses the state government in its reply has accepted that nbfcs have been charging highest rate of interest i would like to know what action has been initiated by both the state government and the central government and what is the awareness program that is being conducted by the state government to bring the farmers within the banking networks the karnataka government is not doing any such programs shri rahul gandhi is visiting various states in the country where farmer suicides are taking place but i fail to understand why he is not visiting the house of the farmers in karnataka who had committed suicides